There we go for the last presentation, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, a subject that uh, I think uh, deserves uh, the right attention at the end of the evening. Um, <laughs> Martin Coleman, thank you very much for coming over here to present this to us. I just give the word to you and you tell the audience I what. I will indeed. Thank you, Hub. Who am I? Who am I? Mr. Carrier ID himself. Okay. Well, I can't win this. I'm the elder statesman here. I'm so old, it's unbelievable. So, you know, I give in. You guys are doing a good job. So, I started off thinking competition. I'm competitive. We had a big problem. Carrier ID, interference, goodness knows what. This is not going to be about that. The slides you will see will just go through and explain the project. But what I want to do tonight, I'm going to really crucify the competition because now I'm going to dedicate this to the SSPI. Because our group, Interference Reduction Group, we're a technology group. We beaver away underneath with geolocation, carrier ID and other geeky things underneath. But without the support of people in this room, SSPI, and WTA and endless other groups, we can't do it. So this one's dedicated not just to the SSPI, but about whoa, global teamwork. You guys work as teams within your companies. Let's take carrier ID. What do we got? How many carriers are going to have to ID at SCPC? 50,000? Something like that. That's a big project. But you know what I want to really do here, and this is what I think this event's about? How do I, after 44 years in this business, get this brain to a 16-year-old? How do I do that? That's what SSPI is about. And that's what teamwork's about. And we need to also understand that we have to impart what we learn to the future. It's important really important. Do you want to waste everything you've just learned? The guys from New Tech, they've been supporting us everywhere. They're great. I got my colleague from USAT do the same. They're here tonight to support me personally. Thank you. It's needed. We rely on each other. I can't do this. So who you just like to let the presentation run? This is all about carrier ID. The slides are just about carrier ID. But what this actually is, is about us, teamwork, working with people, arguing with people, debating with people, agreeing with people. Standards, getting standards. But in the end of the day, all that teamwork has got to go right back to the beginning and we've got to pass it back to our younger generations. Where are we going to get apprentices from to be able to improve technology, coordinate? Do they know this? How do you get schools to do that? I'm part of the STEMnet uh, organisation. It's international. It's very active in the UK. I work with Jonathan Higgins and the chapter in the SSBI chapter there. Our group is in the Isle of Man, dealing with all this conjunction analysis. Everything else to do with interference. We need young people. And that's what this is about. It's, it, we don't get anywhere here. I look at colleagues around here, we don't get anywhere without cooperation. New Tech didn't get great products without being a team within that company. And working with others too. Do you know the toughest thing about getting interference sorted? All these things we've got to sort out. Carry ideas, just one topic. You know what the big problem was? It took me four months to get new tech to talk to ComTech. <laughs> well, it's understandable. But you know what? These guys knew teamwork too. ComTech sort of started the process. But new tech brought standards brought us into standards, made it happen. Do you know we didn't have carrier ID two years, seven months ago? Two years, seven months. There was no brand new resilient carrier ID. We now have an Etsy standard. We're implementing, we're going. 
it's happening, that's it. I get called Mr. Carrier ID, you know, that's my job. But you know, we have to figure out all the technology. We have to do that. And we need people, engineers, brains. But one day, have you ever thought, where do we take that? You know, how do we get the next brains? Where do we get our next technology? What is the next technology? Talking to our colleagues from the press, what is that technology? You know, where are we going? Are we going too far? Are we getting it wrong? You know, 44 years is a long time. I've seen it all. And guess what? We actually haven't invented too much. Someone was going on about KA band and spot beams like it was a new technology. We had spot beams before you, most of you were born. It's already done. It's physics. It's all sorts of things. We get through steps, we get there, we make it happen. That's what real working together means. And sometimes we do battle and sometimes it doesn't quite work. But you know, the good guys, we keep fighting on and we make it happen. And you know, we, got, we, we write rules and action points. We make these things happen. We've got to do databases in this case. We've got to work with the Space Data Association in the Isle of Man. We have a chapter in the Isle of Man, in fact, for the SSPI. A very active chapter in, in, in the Isle of Man. We're doing all this. This is happening. This, the, this isn't built by me or IRG. It's built by, believe it or not, volunteers. People that have been in the industry a long time and have belief. So what I want to do, we've got these schedules, we're trying to get to the end here, we're trying to implement, we're trying to make this one thing happen. I worked out the other day, it took 43 people to do this. Some of them are in this room. That's the thank you. I want to take this further. I want to teach young people so we get great engineers for the future. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is the future.